Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and today I've got a tiny little marble run that I've been trying to create. It's not using a marble, it's using an airsoft pellet, so it's kind of light. It's close to perfect. I'm going to post it to Thingiverse. It's not quite perfect, though. So hopefully, with sharing you guys how this is made, maybe you can help me come up with a solution that makes it work the way it's supposed to. So my friends, let's get cracking. So if you haven't guessed at all, we are building in Tinkercad. And this time, we are using an advanced shape. Let's scroll on down and find the all shapes. And I'll show you where this one exists. So my friends, under all shapes, we need to go all the way to page 16 and then scroll to the top to get what is called the helix. Now this nifty little dude has a shape and it spins around. Right now it's doing two revolutions. I'm going to tell you that I changed it to three revolutions. I chose a bottom radius of 16. So you'll see this spreads out. I set a top radius of 6. And then I had a top separation of 10, and I had a sketch diameter of 10. So that made this shape wider. And then I press D to drop it to the work plane. So you'll notice this is solid, so I had to come up with a way to make it hollow so that the ball could run through it. So here's what I did. Control D, I'm going to nudge it across. And for the second one, still three windings. And the only number I have to change is that bottom 10 needs to become 8.5 millimeters. But watch this. If we make it a hole and we nudge these things together, we could also click on them. And if we do a line center center, pop, pop, it is in the exact spot we need. When we group it, so I'm going to grab just those two items, double check, yeah, two shapes. Give it a moment to settle in and we will have cut out our sweet little tube so up here it does not cut out quite the way we want so all i do is go back to basic shapes we are going to bring out a sphere hold shift squish it a little and type in that 8.5 for the same size this hole is and let's pull that up into place i'm going to use the arrow keys to nudge it i've got my grid set to 0.25 i'm going to set it back to 0.1 and i'm going to just use control up and I'm going to nudge it till it fills that hole just perfect. And hopefully you get the idea for how I assembled all those different versions. All right, so friends, I have chosen to make this Helix Marble Run HL Mod Tech publicly available. Uh, so you'll be able to find it by just searching it. Make sure if you do find it, you give it a like. That way it'll be easier to find for everybody else if you're trying to actually solve this and make it more epic. So you can ungroup and tear apart all of these. They will not wreck my original design, so you can have fun. The one that is all purple is the one that I was closest to having finished. Uh, so explore, see what you can figure out, see how awesome you can make this. If you do make something awesome, make sure you share it with us in the comments down below and also post it to Thingiverse so everybody else can print it. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.